Hi everyone, my name is Eben Illingworth and I'm the product evangelist for Nintex. Today we're going to be looking at a leave request solution that's being built with Nintex workflow. Many of you already know that Nintex workflow is an application that empowers companies to automate their business processes. So it's all about business process management and automation. And users and partners typically build their own solutions. It's not a suite of uh, limited or custom built solutions out of the box. It's a tool set that end users and business stakeholders can use to create whatever solution and automation they need. And of course it uses and requires SharePoint. The leave request solution that we're looking at is of course just one solution possibility. You can build just about anything you need to fit your environment and your requirements. But the one we're looking at will include managerial approval, calendar publishing, and some line of business integration. So it'll be a pretty good demo of some of our more powerful features. It should run about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit less. And we'll look first at how the solution looks, how it looks and feels to the end user. We'll step through that. And then once we do that, we'll go and we'll look at the actual design of the workflow the various tasks that are in it and how we would go about modifying those if we need to do. And then finally in our summary we'll do a little overview of the business value of this particular workflow, what it meant to the business in dollars and cents, and finally a very brief blurb about who we are. Okay, well let's get straight into the demo. We're starting out as a user signed in whose name is Eden Stafford and Eden needs to apply for some vacation time. On this page we have a couple of basic web parts that are included with workflow. One shows the workflow tasks that are outstanding and the other shows any workflows that I've started myself. So we haven't started yet so these are empty. We've also got a uh, basic calendar. This is just a SharePoint calendar list, same as any other. We're going to use that to display the leave that's actually granted. And we've got some workflow reports down here, which I'll get into a little bit later. Uh, everything that you see on this page are simple web parts that you can plug in out of the box. So we'll go to our leave request library. This is a typical SharePoint library. We have InfoPath form that's been attached as a document template. And we're going to fill out a new leave request so that Eden can take some vacation time. Now. In our example here, we're using a form. You're not obliged to use a form. You could use a simple uh, SharePoint list if you wanted. And I guess the advantage to that is that you wouldn't have to go and develop InfoPath forms for each of your paper-based processes. Uh, in this case, we've done, we've done a form just because it looks nicer. So take some annual leave. We'll specify a start date of Monday and an end date of Wednesday. And that is 24 hours or 8 business days. That's pretty much the only information we need to put in there to get it to work. And we'll submit that. So, um, if we go back to our leave request page, we can see that our workflow is now being reported in our web part here. It's telling us uh, we've started a workflow uh, based on this form that we've submitted, the name of the workflow, when it was initiated, how long it's been idled for, and we can click on the current action to get a view of what the status looks like. And we can see uh, in a minute when it comes up that we're now sitting on managerial approval. When we log in as a manager, we'll see these things reverse. Uh, workflows I've started will be blank, and the manager will see the workflow task that he has outstanding come up here, and he'll actually be able to click on it and reply to it from that link. And here it is. All the tasks in green are the ones that have completed. The ones in yellow are the ones that are in progress. And the ones in gray are the ones that haven't executed yet. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail at this stage, because we're going to dig into this a bit more when we look at how this works behind the scenes. But for now, uh, it's enough to know that these early tasks are uh, pulling information out of the form. And now we're at the yellow, yellow task, which is waiting for managerial approval. So let's go back to that leave request page and let's sign in as the manager just to confirm what I mentioned earlier about how that would show up 